recording. Volume, chickity check, check. Doesn't look terrible. All right, you go. Uh, check. It looks reasonable. Checkmate. Looks reasonable. Not too loud. There's a weird spike for my mm. voice. Yeah, that looks good. All right. Are we going to have anybody else on the show? Just, it's no, we just, might call just Gene. Just a, we okay. might call Gene. Might call Gene. It's going to get weird. It could get weird. It will get weird. It will get weird. All right, we have this other thing going on, too. All right. <coughs> oh, I just saw something. Um, there's a meme going around about... Well, it's part Monty Python. Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. It is part the fact that Neil Gaiman is on Tumblr and posts most of his shit on Tumblr. Hmm. They were like, isn't that for, like, weirdos? And he was like, yeah, there's a lot of weirdos, but there's some bad stuff, too. Neil, Dan- Neil Gaiman doesn't even That's weird. On expect Tumblr. Neil Gaiman on Tumblr. That is weird. <laughs> All right. On that note, let's get ready to rumble. Mm-hmm. One, two. I should have reshared the thing so I'd have it at hand because I, I just didn't do a good job. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Hmm. <laughs> All right. On two. Two. Three. Welcome to the Chainsaw well, that Bar. that was on three. Interrupting much? Anyway, um, this Murder. is the Chainsaw Bar. It's Halloween 2023. We're recording from our little cove. It's chill. I ain't nothing going on. The boys have ran off to the wildernesses and dressed as anime characters mm-hmm. with their cousin. So that's fun. Good for but them. The cousins. They're going to pick up another cousin. No, they're going to meet other cousins, but as far as I know, they run yeah. off with a cousin, so there you go. Yeah, so far, one cousin, but then they're going to grab another cousin, and this is the thing, our family, y'all, it's like, Halloween is a family holiday, it has been their whole lives. The cousin who came over here today, his birthday was a few days ago, so just before Halloween, they have another cousin whose birthday is Halloween. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But that's here nor there. It's it's mostly us and the other um, siblings, my siblings, <laughs> kids, try to keep up. Mike's, right. Mike's siblings' kids are much younger than ours, so. They're probably doing the trunk and treats. And they're all probably that stuff. doing the adorable little kid shit. That's yeah, they're doing the cute stuff. They love that stuff. They're getting all the candy. They're they, getting all the candy. Our kids aren't getting any candy unless they buy it. Um, they're, they're, just, they're too old for they're that. They're just running around looking they're for They're running it. around looking for scary corn mazes or haunted houses and and all that stuff. And getting to dress up and just, you know, enjoy everybody's favorite holiday. Yep. Except for Oliver, who claims it's Christmas, but I'm pretty sure Halloween's a close second. Yep, whatever. But, yeah, if you've uh, seen our Facebook posts, uh, the Chainsaw Bar on Facebook, you've seen my ugly mug, so there you go. Cheers. Oh, gosh, you posted your own face? Oh, yeah, I always do. We're supposed to be anonymous. Oh, we are anonymous, but I'm the owner, and they can look up my name and everything and stats of the, the podcast, so mm-hmm. they can deep dive enough that they can find me. So yeah. you might as well at least if, look at my If you want to stalk us, you probably can do it pretty easy, but please don't, because I but, really don't like stalkers. But whatever. It is neither her nor there, but it is Halloween. We watched a few mu- movies this week. We watched some series and did some fun things. Blessed selling. Oh, yeah. Cheers. Definitely. But today we're going to do something fun. We're going to do some science. Oh, we're doing science? Mm-hmm. We're doing science, boss? Science. I've seen this on the internet. This guy did this thing with this thing and the other thing. And I got mm-hmm. the glasses for the things. So, we're going to do the thing. It's like an interesting thing. It's a taste thing. We're getting Bacardi Limon and Barks Root Beer. Which sounds awful. But, we're going to... No, it definitely sounds awful. Definitely sounds awful. But it's supposed to taste like something. 
So I'm kind of curious what it tastes like, because like he says it tastes like this, or somebody on the internet says it tastes like this, and you know what? I want to find out if they're right, if they're wrong. What do they say it tasted like? That's the surprise. I know what that's supposed to taste like. You don't. Mm-hmm. I'm kind of curious. You're kind of like the um, the guinea pig in this game. Mm-hmm. Okay. Is this why you bought the Barks root beer? This is why I bought the Barks root beer. So long ago and the kids haven't drank it all? No, I've hit it. Yeah. You hit it in the fridge, dude. And they got out once and I hit it again. I said, leave it alone. Okay. All right. No, this, this delicious cup of lies. Let's see what it's about. Oh, a delicious cup of flies. <sighs> Cheers to the devil's bargain. Cheers. Should I stir that? You can shake it a little bit. I don't think it'll make I've too much ex- of I've got an extra pencil. There you go. Interesting. All right. Cheers. It smells like mint. It smells like Pepto Bismol. Oh, wow. That's weird. It, that smells like. You drink it. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. That's sweet. That's familiar. I know what that is. They're not wrong. Oh, that tastes like Easter candy. That tastes like fucking Bazooka bubble gum. That too. Wow. That tastes like bubble gum, but also Easter candy with the, the lemon. Yeah. Lemon always reminds me of Easter. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. It does taste like Bazooka Joe bubble gum. That's it what tastes it's supposed like to. bubble gum, and it also tastes just like generic Easter candy. That's so crazy. I didn't expect Which to Which I never that. realized tastes so much like Bazooka Joe bubblegum. Neat. That's exactly what it's supposed to taste like. They're like, you mix a Bacardi Limon and Bark's fucking root beer, it's supposed to taste like, it tastes like Bazooka Joe bubblegum. I'm like, what? Which has a kind of a birchy, a birchy taste. Yeah. And it's, it's a birchy taste. It is a birch. If you've taste. had birch beer, uh, and I hope you have. Because it's good. Because it's good. Non-alcoholic, just tasty. Yeah, yeah. Birch beer is like root beer. So if you put alcohol in your root beer, you can make it taste like birch beer. <laughs> yep, and there we go. Yeah. <laughs> yep, definitely confirmed. Club Dirty. Confirmed and also... Tastes like things that remind me of Easter because, mm. like, sugary, lemony, um, oh, wow. weird things just remind me of Easter. God, that is Easter nice. Candy. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Ooh, that is. Damn. I don't hate it. It tastes just like gum, Easter candy, and birch beer. And it's Halloween, so candy is a go. Candy but is go. You're drinking out of the Club Dirty Cups. Which is I don't know what that is. Yeah, it's an internet guy. He does drinks. He's like a crazy bearded dude. You've seen his picture, like you've seen the old white bearded guy, but like you didn't know this particular one. Mm-hmm. But basically, he he runs like I don't know what he does in real life, but his damn Twitter YouTube thingy. He just does like drinks. And he's just like all right, like somebody somebody says this tastes like fucking. I don't know, shoe polish or something. Mm. And he'll mix the ingredients together and it's like, huh, that tastes like damn shoe polish. Or, nah, that doesn't taste like anything. I don't see it. It's good, but it's not tan. And then sometimes it'll be like, god damn. Well, that, well. And in this particular drink, he was like, how the fuck? <laughs> it, it just is what it is. It is what Apparently it is. now we know where, where bubblegum flavor comes from. Yep, a mix of lemon and Hello. root beer. Weird. Hello. Good stuff. That is lovely. Yeah, if you guys get a chance, it's Bacardi Limon and uh, Barks Root Beer. I'm the two liter. Hmm. In a damn highball. Not highball, a damn rocks glass. But, yeah, I was curious. I know. And now I'm kind of surprised. It actually does taste like fucking Bazooka Joe bubblegum. Because I had some a few weeks ago just to remember... Put the memory back in my head to remember what, what it tastes like. Taste like. That particular bubblegum. Because bubblegums have different tastes. Well, they do, but they're all kind of the same, too. Yeah, you say that, but... I say as that... As a connoisseur of things... Bazooka yes. Joe, what it is about Bazooka Joe is that you get the fucking wrapper. Mm-hmm. With the joke. And, um... That is hard as fuck. It's hard. The gum is hard. Oh, 
Yeah. Yeah, that is a weird dry gum. Even when, like, fresh out of the same new packaging. Yeah. It, it's, it's still a, it's a hard it's chew. Like, yeah. Yeah. You really gotta work for it. You gotta work for that one. Alright. Mm-hmm. So, Halloween. Halloween. Happy Halloween. Blessed Solemn to you, if you have pagany. Yep. Like we do. Definitely Halloween time. Um, man, yeah, it's been good. Don't bring the world down a fire if you're a big Danzig fan. Right. Do you want them to acknowledge the dead? No, I've only got one. Who's that? Well, acknowledging on this Salween all day, a few days ago, within the last week and a half, Mr. Richard Roundtree passed away at 81. Legendary black action figure, first black action star, Shaft, passed away. Shaft. Mm-hmm. So that's my only shout-out as a in reference to anybody because he's legendary. So he gets this damn entire episode. Richard Browntree. Yeah. Rest in power, brother. A lot of people are upset about um, Matthew Perry's passing. Yeah. And and I've you know, I mean I it's the Keanu thing. Which he's apologized about. Which he has apologized about. And then apparently he did a lot of work with alcoholics and alcoholism. Mm -hmm. And and I I respect that. Yep. I never will understand why he lashed out at Keanu. (laughs) Even if he, even if he apologized for it, like, but, but why to begin with? He said he'd lived on the same street and as the first person popped in his head. They were on the same Okay, well, that's (laughs) no reason to troll somebody, dude. He was damn. That is no fucking reason. Like, I live on the same street as other people. Are they going to just lash out at me if they need someone to lash out at? Because Keanu Reeves is like the nicest guy in the fucking world after Dave Grohl. And there you are. He's just walking down the street and it's like fucking Perry's going through some shit and it just he, lashed out on the internet. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and he did admit it was a mistake and it he's happens. also done a lot of good work. So I'm yeah. not the biggest Friends fan. Um, mm. Friends was was fine for, for white people and... Yeah, it was what it was. It was It was right. what it was. It was it was fine. It was it was funny. Phoebe was hilarious. Well, Phoebe's like, the only reason that damn thing is uh, worth it. She's... Name. Yeah, um, Lisa Kudrow is actually mm-hmm. a goddamn gem. She cracked me up in that show. But other than that, I only watched it because my my friend, my neighbor was watching it. And Lisa Kudrow, end of list. Of the rest of it, I could not give two shits about. Oh, yeah. um, but still, uh, Matt, you maybe weren't a bad guy. Maybe we're just a person, and uh, wish you well too. Yeah. That's how I feel about that on this day of the dead. I, um, you know, I went to work today. I told you I, I had talked to um, my boss lady yesterday yep. and asked if I could bring some magnolias because she lived in Santa Fe for 27 years and I thought she might be doing some. The the muertos shit, mm. and um, I know her dog passed away, and then her granddaughter's dog passed away. Mm. Yeah, I didn't know if she wanted to do an ofrenda, but I have a lot of marigolds in my garden still. So I was like, hey, you want me to bring you some marigolds mm-hmm. if you wanted to do an ofrenda? And um, she was like, well, yeah, maybe for. I didn't even say the thing about the dogs. It was just in my mind. She was like, yeah, maybe for for my fur babies, for our fur babies. And I was like, do you think anybody around here does, like, puppy sugar skulls? I mean, it could be a thing. Mm. And she was asking, she was like, well, do you know about it? And I was like, it's not really my culture. Um, And I don't want to appropriate somebody else's culture, but I was raised to celebrate other people's cultures and holidays and heritage, because I was raised Buddhist. And, and my boss lady is also Buddhist. And um, so she was so tickled. I brought those flowers over there and she had told her son and he was so like hyped about it. He went and found a picture of her, of one of her dogs that she doesn't even have a photo of, a physical photo. Mm-hmm. And 
they're gonna do a whole like ofrenda for their their fur fur, fur babies. No, that's and fun. and I brought the marigolds for it. <laughs> 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 I and I think I don't know, and I'm I'm sorry if that offends anybody who's Catholic and thinks animals don't have souls or whatever. Um, or anybody who's Hispanic and thinks that I shouldn't do that, but that—that that is the way I was raised. I was raised to learn about other people's holidays, and I haven't learned enough about this to know if animals have souls in um, that particular sect of Catholicism. But if you're a Hispanic Catholic who celebrates Dia de Muertos, um, and and you've ever had a dog that you loved, you know, mm. you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So they're gonna do this, and it's gonna be, it's gonna be really cathartic for my friend and her her granddaughter who both just lost their beloved dogs. Um, I think it's I think it's really fun. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. The holiday for the doggos. No, yeah, I hate that shit. Just, I mean, I'm pretty sure. Well, anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, I have to bring somebody some marigolds because I still got them coming in. They aren't they ain't dead yet. No, yep, they ain't dead yet. Damn, that's so weird. That just tastes like damn bubblegum. It's creepy. It absolutely tastes like bubblegum. Now we know. No, no. Uh, don't put more root beer on mine. I want it to taste like bubblegum. <laughs> there we go. But, um, yeah. Anyway, that was that was my day today. Just uh, going to work and bringing marigolds so people can celebrate their dad. And in this case, their the recently human dad. Dago Dia Mortis. Dia de Muertos. Dago Dia. Oh, uh, that would be Pero. No, I'm just putting the dog on. Okay, but Pero, Pero is dog in Spanish. Penis. Oh. Pero. No, no it is. All right. No, that doesn't rhyme. rhyme as good. Dago. Dia, de, uh, Pero de, de Muertos. If you went Dago, it sounds better. Just. Uh, that's Americanizing uh, it. Sorry, whatever. That way. I think Pero works. Pero. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Nah. I think it's cute. I like doggo better. It's cute. No. Too. No. I, I like it this way. Alright. But, yeah, pero, that's cool. Pero. Dia Pero de Muertos. There you go. Sorry if my Spanish sucks for people who are actually Spanish speakers. I try. <laughs> I try, but I do not speak Spanish. For shit. Also, shout out to them, uh, Richard Roundtree, Mr. Shaft himself. Cheers. We can dig it. We can dig it. And... We can dig it. Shout out. Respect from the uh, the podcast. And that's that's what we got on you. Like, he passed, 81. He was in him. He still, like, worked at him. Promote people, did his thing, kept working throughout nice. his age, and just did his thing. Nice. Like, I did a deep dive this week, and it was like... Nothing crazy good or weird or anything terribly like whatever, but he just did the work. Nothing he just didn't weird. damn inspire people and just damn worked and lived and enjoyed his damn fame. His little bit of fame is shaft. So good on damn Richard Roundtree. I think Isaac Hayes really took all the fame from the shaft thing. Yeah. That song. Yeah. There's that. But Damn right. Damn right. But it's still Halloween, so we're rocking this Halloween. We've done, uh, done our drink test. That's awesome. We've got some thoughts. Which is our duty to please your booty. There you have it. So I'm going to get... keep with the shaft. Why'd you have to lead in with shaft? Bam! Shaft. Shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yep. i got to lead in with that. got to lead in that big dick energy. That's the way it rolls. But you're a bad mother. <laughs> Shut your mouth. So let's run into some of our reviews. This week has been weird. I've been off. I've had hernia surgery. I've been just laying around playing Fortnite, playing the 
Halloween Fortnite. He has been playing the victim uh, of surgery and not doing jack or shit, but Fortnite. I'm so injured. It hurts. Oh, so, it hurts till you want to get laid. Uh, you're the one pressing for that button, buddy. No, I was not. You're the one that put me no. in this position. Don't get wise. Okay. We've talked about this in the podcast before. Don't even start. That was a different hernia. It was a different hernia. This hernia was probably the piano. This hernia actually is probably the piano, which is something you wanted. Because the kids wanted it. You wanted it too. I wanted it for the kids. There you go. I mean, it's a nice piece of furniture for me. I don't play the piano. The cats love it. Cats love this furniture. It sits right in the window with the sun. <laughs> cats love it. We this talked about the piano eight, already on the this podcast. 1851 right? fucking square piano. Square ground. Sounds Schumacher crazy. Schumacher piano. It's Philadelphia. Look. First look, in. The thing weighs a ton, and we moved it ourselves. Don't mm. ask how. It was black magic. No. Actually, it was, really it was actually ingenuity. Um, and it was heavy as shit. And it was heavy as shit, and Mike got a hernia. Okay. There we go. But, yeah, man, yeah, but whatever. It still sounds goddamn eerie as shit. And it sounds eerie as shit. We, we, played the ch- we, should, we should record the Chainsaw Bar, like, piano intro. Ooh, on that. On that. Oh. And see if the notes have been played. Ooh, man, yeah. And then you'll see how, like, fucking, it sounds like a spinet, if you know what a spinet is. And it sounds more like a spinet than a piano, and mm. completely out of tune, and a lot of keys don't work, but... One of these days, we're going to get that piano tuner over here. Yeah, definitely. And he can tune both of our pianos, and one will sound like a piano, and one will be tuned to itself because it's too old to tune to any other piano. And But it will be in tune to itself. Yep. But it's gorgeous, and the kids just fell in love with it upon seeing a photo so I'm like what can I do yeah and it's fun like, what can I, I do like, like I love my kids and, and I enjoy tapping and, on it and like, they're they're musicians and they're outside of like what it outside of like the cost of getting here it didn't cost us nothing it's free like mm-hmm. it cost us money to buy, move it here but yeah we had free. to rent a, a van or to buy some lifting equipment some equipment yeah so we're that, at like 150 bucks for a damn fucking for a thing that if if it was in like perfect condition no, if it was damn revolved that thing would be worth like fucking it would be worth like fifty thousand dollars yeah but it's just pretty but it's not it's not it's not worth that um please don't rob me for <laughs> good a luck piano. stealing you, it yeah good luck stealing, good luck stealing that piano because <laughs> mike has a hernia and you'd like you'd have to have the special thing you'd have to have like at least 20 minutes of damn time to steal it and you know, steal the fun piano. thing was that like during the whole saga of getting this piano i was like fine how many people have been killed by moving a piano and i go i went ahead and googled it while we were moving it Oof. and it's only like 28 in the history of moving pianos, That's only funny. like twenty-eight people have been killed by moving a piano. So I felt I felt pretty good at that point. I was like, okay, okay, okay. All, All right. right, you always see a piano falling on somebody in like old black and white movies. But that's a setup to kill the person. That's not really moving it. That's just well. Like, I mean, I'm just no, guy. no. It's always like you know some like fucking Laurel and Hardy shit. Mm-hmm. And the piano falls, and um, I, I thought that death by piano was going to be a way higher number than it was. So I'm not twenty eight. That's not hardly. Yeah, know. that's that's barely nothing. That's... We've had twenty eight, probably fucking twenty eight shootings this week in America. Sorry to be a buzzkill and a downer, but... Mm-hmm. No, we've had more than that because of the thing up in... Yeah. 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 Yeah, we've had... Yeah. We've had a wicked lot more. We've had a wicked lot more than the entirety of being crushed by a piano in American history. Or being then choked out by a piano falling on you or whatever. Whatever piano moving, getting killed by moving your, a piano... Yeah, there's that. I want to say that probably like getting, getting, getting um, garroted by a piano wire is a lot higher. In cinema, 
Yeah. Like, cinema. If you look at Italian Giallo, yeah, that's yeah, like... Yeah, and Giallo. That's one of like Seriously, that's the like the, the go-to. That's one of the top ten kills. They're that's just, the go-to. You're going to get grouted by a piano wire. Yeah, that's that's a go. It's like black gloves. Uh, oh, where's my piano wire? What am I doing with my what life? What am I doing with my life if not a piano wire to garrot somebody? <laughs> it's like, that's why I'm wearing these black leather gloves. Fuck. I'm not keeping my hands warm. Nope. I'm not driving anywhere. <laughs> These are my driving gloves. I'm just walking around. I'm just waiting to garage somebody with a piano wire. Do you know which note it is? You don't. That's the trick. Ta-da! <laughs> yep. And there you fucking go. Horrible. It means something. <laughs> it means something. Mm. Yeah, I don't know what that means. All right, should we give Gino a call and see if he wants to be in on this? Because um, you also... Let's talk about, uh, before we do, let's talk about um, our movie reviews this week. Oh, yeah. We watched a movie. We did watch a movie. You want to talk, oh. uh, talk about that movie or you oh. want to hear my dumb review of the other thing I did? Well, I'll talk about the movie and then while you're doing your dumb review, I can go smoke a cigarette. No, that takes so long. No, it doesn't take. It takes about seven minutes. Anyway, so like um, we watched a Blumhouse film. Which thankfully didn't end in demons, so that was awesome. That was a nice twist. <laughs> I didn't see it coming. I was like, "Oh, it's Blumhouse it's gonna yeah, end demons." He absolutely guaranteed me when I sat down with him. He said, "This is gonna suck. It's gonna be awful." And it's, yeah, I definitely and I was didn't. like, "Well, all right, I'm in." And let's go because we know this is a Blumhouse film. They're Scott hit or miss. Scott in. And they are what they are. Okay, so do you want to tell them what it is, or should I? I don't know, you think you say it fast? You think you say, you think you'd say it better than I could? I think I can say anything you could say as good as you, or better, yeah. Mm, that's not really <laughs> nothing. All right, so this week, I sat down and was just skimming the damn, uh, the Roku... Firefly, Fire hmm. TV thing. And I came across a trailer. And I was like, all right, let's see what this trailer's about. And I was like, ah, oh, that's what we're doing tonight. We're going to sit down and watch this. It looks fun. It's a comedy. It's horror. It's got enough damn kills in it. Look interesting. From the trailer. And this film was called Freaky. Yes. The, tra- the trailer, if you watch the trailer, has them. That aunt for Exactly. Their song, Freaky. I think you're freaky and I like you a lot. And it's playing in the background trailer. So Does it say, I find you freaky? I think you're freaky and I like I you. I always like, find you freaky. But that was a trailer. They played that song in the trailer I seen. And I was like, all right, that's a fun song. But let's. They played the video and I was like, oh, okay. All right. And we sat down and watched it that night. And we were not disappointed. Because Freaky stars, um... I think you Freaky. <laughs> yeah. Stars a bunch of regular damn nobodies. And Vince Vaughn. And that's But no, it's different. not a bunch of nobodies. That, that actress is actually kind of up and coming. Like, really, I can't think of her name. Catherine Newton? Is that her name? Catherine Newton, yeah. If that's Miley. Millie. Millie, yeah. Yes. Yeah, she's been in a bunch of horror shit. Just click on her and you'll see. It. But that's not the standout. Other than Vince Vaughn and Millie mm-hmm. Catherine Newton, we have the effable Alan um, Rock! Hello! Alan Rock, motherfuckers! It Alan took us Rock! All it took us movie. like it was like All movie to figure it out. If you can remember, that was Ferris Bueller's best friend. Boom. And Ferris Bueller's day off. Oh my gosh! But yeah. Oh no! This film was so fun. I and I I grew up on Freaky Friday, right? The original. Um, old and new. What, look, look what was that actress's name who was in all those movies? No oh, shit. But look at the old and new picture of Dem Allen. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Young guy, old guy, looking him. Looking good. He was a damn great bad guy kind of character. Well played. He did a good part in his part. I no. liked it. Why does it... What the... Yeah. I'm real... Okay. You looking with a girl? 
I'm looking for... Mia Sarah? Sloan? No, I'm looking for... The real Freaky Friday from the 70s. Oh, God. That I grew up with. It was fucking Jodie Foster. Oh, crying was it? Out loud. Who was the flip? Jodie Foster. Interesting. She was twins. No, wait, oh, she I, was a identical am I wrong? twins? No. Am I, no, I might be wrong. Uh, it was Barbara Harris. It was her and her mom. Okay, I'm, I'm confusing this with something else. I'm confusing with the parent trap. Oh, yeah, that is a very yeah, common but name. Freaky so. Friday, yeah, I grew up with that. And Jody. So anyway, so Blumhouse somehow, uh, Blumhouse got the rights through Disney to remake Freaky Friday and not do necess- it as a horror movie. Not necessarily, they, it's not necessarily they got any rights at all. The mm-hmm. story is a story, but they just call it Freaky but I can see that they could maybe have to get rights to it if that's a thing. I don't know if they did or not. Okay. I that was my assumption. That's my assumption too. But like I don't know if they even had to go with Disney at all because it's Bloomhouse. Bloomhouse is kind of super independent and they're they're fucking so hit or miss. Yeah. It's always a demon or it's good. Yeah. Well this was actually super fun. It was uh the the protagonist is kind of a shy girl whose father died and her mom's an alcoholic and her sister has disassociated and she can't talk to her crush and all these things and they live in a town where there's a legend of a serial killer who kills um, teenagers on Friday the 13th uh, because you know, because serial killers kill promiscuous teenagers. This teenager isn't promiscuous, but she almost gets killed anyway just for being at the wrong place at the wrong time and switches bodies with the serial killer. That's fun, right? That, that is. is a fun Freaky Friday. Mm-hmm. Like, so now the serial killer's walking around like the cute teenage girl she's stuck in Vince Vaughn's body Mm -hmm. and has to convince her friends and crush that she is not actually the serial killer she's actually her it was it was very fun it was very cute and everybody who dies by her uh, disembodied hand Mm-hmm. When the serial killer is inside of her, or all the bullies that you want kind of to die, or at least be punished. Maybe not, I'm not going to go back and kill my high school bullies. I wouldn't do that. But if somebody had to die in this scenario, it'd be them. Yep. The Blissfield Butcher. The Blissfield Butcher. The town is literally called Blissfield, and they have a serial killer like arc. That's yeah. great. And he, he and his last his latest kill, he finds like a damn gorgeous damn fucking Aztec blade. Aztec ceremonial um, sacrifice knife. Yep, blade. La Dola. La Dola. And. He steals it, and then... And that's what actually uh, that's, that's does what, the thing that does the Freaky Friday show. Yeah, because, like, on the blade, it's inscribed. Mm-hmm. It's like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. If you do this, you're going to switch bodies, and then you have, like, so much time... 24 hours. Until you can... To reverse it, or it's permanent... It was just... It was just fun. I liked it. It was enjoyable. It's, it's it was, like, I, that was a real f- fun movie for me. It's been so I'll long. I'll show that to the kids. It's been a while since I've seen a good damn Blumhouse film that was just fucking that was enjoyable. Just, that was just fun. And, you know, I'll watch pretty much anything Vince Vaughn is in. Mm. I just like Vince Vaughn. I'll watch most things Blumhouse puts out. I'll say that. Vince Vaughn has always been fun. Like and Bl- Vince come Vaughn, on. yeah. I'm I've been, that. like, dodgeball on my brain today for whatever reason. <laughs> Oh, that's all fucking Because I cut myself and I thought, nobody makes me bleed my own blood. 
Fuck yeah. Um, 100%. Yeah, so, I, yeah, Vince Vaughn. Such a dy- dynamic kind of actor. Like, he's... I never watched the remake of... He was in the remake of Psycho, right? I didn't see it, no. I didn't watch it either, because I won't. Even though it was um, Gus Van Sant, I fucking don't think I can watch a remake of Psycho. Even if it's Gus Van Sant directing Ben Spawn, I'm still not going to... Now you're going to make me do it, aren't you? I'm just going to do a quick dig here, because, like, did he? Did he really? I'm about 100% sure I'm right on this. It was Gus Van Sant, it was Ben Spawn. They remade Psycho. Mm, no. Early 90s. Mid, mm. mid 90s, sorry. Mid 90s. Uh, nope. Huh? Nope. Not, not in his name. Li- no. Yeah, I did. God damn it, he was. 98. And who directed it? Let's hit that. 98. It was Gus Van Sant. Okay. Gus Van Sant. Sorry. And Julia oh. Moore, Viggo Mortensen, and damn fucking Anne Hatch? Why haven't I not seen this remake? I don't know, because oh, it's a man. remake and your wife doesn't like remakes. I I just don't know that I could watch it. I know I know the the director, the cast outstanding. I just I haven't I haven't brought myself to do it. That one. Um, I love all these people. I think that they're great. I also I'm deeply aware of the fact that Alfred Hitchcock was not a good guy. Mm. Um, pretty much total dick. Pretty much total dick. But Psycho is one of my favorite films. So, like, watching somebody remake it just for the fucking sake of remaking Psycho. Mm. You got damn golden raspberries for damn worst remake and worst director. You got no. nominated for Worst Actress for Hedge. Really? No. Really? That's weird. For However, Hedge. it did get two Saturn Award nominations for Best Actress, Hedge, and Best Writing by Stefano. And oh, it's still Joseph T- Stefano. So they had the same screenwriter. Yep. Is that... Am I right, Joseph Stefano? Yep. Okay. You had some re- so music by Danny Elfman. So the same screenwriter. Yeah. Danny Elfman? He had some music God in God damn it. I need... Fine, uh, fine. Fine, I'll watch it. Yep. I'll watch it, you know, 20, wh- however many years later. 98. Wow. However many years later, I will fucking watch <laughs> it, okay? All right. If I've got to watch a remake of a movie, of a horror movie that I love. It will be Psycho this year. It will be Gus Van Sant's version of Psycho. Damn it. I did not even know that thing did happened. Did you not know I that it existed? Them. No, I was not. That was one of those years I didn't have television, so I didn't have mm. anything access. I was just out skateboarding. I was just out disgusted that they were trying to remake Psycho. Yep. No, that was one of those years I was just In out 98. and about. I was what twenty one. Don't know. I don't do maths, but yeah, ninety eight. I was just chilling. I was not having TV much. If I was watching TV, is like a Batman, fucking animated series, and that was you weren't out skating in ninety. Wait, I wasn't 21. I'm sorry. I don't do maths either, apparently. Yeah, 98. I was totally out skating. I didn't know you. Nope, you weren't even close enough. You wouldn't know me for another three years. Exactly. So, that's fun. Hmm, fun. Skate. And there we are. Can I have my cigarette now while you do your bit? I don't know if I got it all. That was it. Like, actually, I will call Gino and see if we can get him online. Yeah. You Try run that. and do your cigarette and your thing, Bob. I'm gonna run. Yeah. Run, 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 run. Tip her Grab off. The Sorry for the Let's see if this works. Yo, what are you doing, Gene? Yeah, not much, man. Drinking uh, uh, liquor. God, why? Yeah, it's a thing. I had to drink. I was eating beans. Oh, Jesus. 
Let me see if we can get this working. Horrible. Yeah, pretty horrible. I mean, I didn't, I wouldn't know. I didn't drink no liquor. Uh, um, Karen left me and stuff like that. She said, I got a headlight. And I said, okay. I'm just going to drink beer. Anyway, Gino, I called you because I want you on the podcast. I'm recording a podcast. You're going to record some dumb shit. <sighs> Unless you don't want to, then I'll hang up and we can call tonight. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. Anyway. I'm good. All right, Gene, it's Halloween, brother. It is the spookiest day of the year. What do you think? Um, it was the most horrible. Are we on the podcast? We are on the podcast. It's the worst fucking Halloween fucking ever. <laughs> Damn, really? Did you have I to work? I watched the most disgusting, fucking horrible um, podcast. I mean, no podcast, a uh, fucking film. And, uh, and, uh, and, I don't know. Yeah. Well, at least you've seen something. What were you watching? I, I have not got no fucking cigarettes. Now I gotta smoke a goddamn tobacco pipe. <laughs> Man, tobacco pipes are good. Fuck off. I like a tobacco pipe. Oh, fuck. No, it sucks. I'd rather have a cigarette. Mm. Yeah, tobacco pipes, fucking classic. Very damn fucking. Um. What's it called? The uh, fucking Headless Horseman era. Very Headless Horseman times. Uh, yeah. Oh, I thought it sucks. <laughs> Man. You have a cigarette in. <laughs> yep. Most people would. But anyway. So you, you took off damn Wednesday? You took off tomorrow? Yeah, we start first. Fucking sweet. Don't hate that. And now I don't even because I know this this damn week is like fucking awful. I know everybody's fucking horrible. I already know this. Hmm. I know everybody's fucking not understandable and stuff like that. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it, Gene. Everybody seems all right. No, 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 no. Um, all right. What you got? Are we on the podcast? I've told you this twice already, yes. Well, the thing of it is, the reason I take off these days and stuff because everybody uh, tends to be fucking awful and horrible and stuff like that. So I just take the fucking days off because I just know that that, that it is going to be that way and I'm staying at the fucking house. That's reasonable if you believe it. And if they treat you that way, then yeah, that's a good reason not to go to work. Can't hate it. Man, 100% true on that. Yeah, because for me, like, I've been off for a week now. Like, I've been off for a week. Like, I've had hernia surgery, so, like, I've had an umbilical hernia surgery. So I've been out for a week. Like, mandatory damn week off. Tomorrow will be a full week. And I believe, I think I have to go back on Friday. So I'll be back on work on Friday. It's going to suck. But, eh. I don't know. I can't be broke, so I got to damn work. Nah, hell, that's the damn thing about me. I'm not broke. I'm not broke at all. The damn thing of this is I had to get off these weeks because I know everybody is damn is horrible on these damn weeks. I mean, I love Halloween, but everybody is experiencing Hmm. And, um, and my lady, she basically yeah, let's let's not go there Jim let's not go there on the show I'm not I'm, I'm not, not I'll tell you what I had a one good uh, this is a good this is a good horror film it's called Phobia okay what's Phobia about 
Oh, shit, man. Everybody's got a fucking phobia, eh? True. I don't disagree. And, uh, everybody's got one. And, uh, this one, a horror film called Phobias. And, uh, so they kidnap everybody that has some certain phobia, right? Okay. And, uh, so this mad scientist in their, their, no, it's like the society and stuff like that. Now they want to get distract their phobia and put it in a gas, right? Okay. So they, they're they extracting their phobia out of their minds and stuff to put it in a gas so they could put it in a gas. Ooh. So they get so they could put it in society to make people have bad phobias. All right. So this is, you're talking about the um, 2021 fucking film Phobias, probably. Yeah, that's probably it. So finally they got got out of there like the this uh, finally they broke out and stuff like it used their phobia gas against them and uh and uh push that push the phobia gas on them and stuff like that and they got the hell out of there so yeah. and then they had the phobias and stuff like that and at the end I don't even understand that one uh yeah uh, Robophobia. Robophobia. So, what the? Oh yeah, it's a thing. Robophobia. Okay. It's like scared of robots. Oh. oh okay, I could see that. Yeah, robots are fucking scary. <laughs> Me, I'm not so much scared about no damn robot. I kind of like robots. Hmm. Well, you haven't watched them. I mean, got, I, but everybody's got a fucking a phobia, sir. So let's see. We got um, what? Dude, no, you, you gotta watch this motherfucking movie. I'm wrong. All right. <laughs> let me let me fucking put this motherfucker up here. Uh, now, we've talked about Gene. I already got it. Lo- I got note on the notes, and I'm looking at the damn information about on the internet. So we're good. Did it have yeah, a damn? Did it have an Asian girl in it? Uh, two is an Asian dude and an Asian uh, guy. <laughs> yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So, well, yeah, the Asian girl was Hannah Mae Lee, and she is most famous for her damn bits and damn uh, fucking this awesome damn show called Damn Pitch Perfect. Like this movie series called Pitch Perfect. It's about singers in college. God damn, she's funny as fuck in that. She's just like damn. She's quiet. She's Korean. And goddamn, she she kind of steals her damn scenes. It's fuck, she's awesome in her shows, but like, yeah, that's her. Well, so, she had another. She had a different kind of phobia. She was. Yeah, I tried to look them up and stuff like that, and then my girlfriend, she uh, she's on this trip now and stuff like that, looking up different uh, phobias and stuff like that. <laughs> like, no, I'm not trying to be a doctor or anything. I just, I'm just interested. And what kind of phobias people have that trip people out? Because thing of this, um, I've got things that I, it just doesn't bother me. But a lot of people, like spiders, they don't bother me. But a lot of people, it trips them out. Yep. Me, not so much on other things. But some other things, I'm really high tested about it. Especially different damn spirits and stuff. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I'm looking up this damn. Um, I found. I, I dove into Hannah Mae Lee's damn filmography. So apparently. Like this year, she got her. She was in this new movie called Abruptio. 
which is a puppet horror film. So, I don't know, take that with what you will, but it's a puppet horror. But the thing about this particular puppet fucking horror film that just got released this year, it was part of it was filmed in 2019, so just before COVID. And it's finally getting put out this year to a bunch of them, all the them, all the them film things like Sundance and all that shit. But the thing about this particular film that you'll respect and take with you is this is the last film where Sid Haig actually played, actually acted. Sid Haig in his final film before his death. So this thing called Abruptio is Sid Haig's last actual performance as an actor. So it just got released. It was done in 2019, but it hasn't been released till this year. But it's got damn that Asian girl from the movie you've seen, Hannah Mae Lee. It's got damn Sid Haig. It's got Jordan Peele. And it's got Robert England. So it's got an all-star kind of cast. So I'm looking forward to watching this shit. Sounds like a weak puppet master, possibly, but I don't know. But I don't know. We'll have to watch, I'll have to check this thing out. I'll have to look a co- look up a copy of this Abruptio. If it's got Sid Haig's last performance in it, definitely going to check that out. Man, I hate it. Man, I hate them. Well, Sid Haig was a fucking. He, he's one of my fucking, fucking greatest actors ever. He's like, what in the hell? They just see him. What was the other films? I'm like, there's not many films that I've seen. You know what I mean? Like, uh, Dead Man's Hand. <laughs> yep. Well, they called it like a hundred different names. Yeah, Casino of the Damned. <laughs> yeah, Dead Man's Hand, Casino of the Damned. <laughs> well, skip the play. Yep, there it is. But, yeah, it is what it is. God, that Asian girl damn up. Damn it, I fucking ain't got no motherfucking beer. I tell you what, I fucking been drinking no beers. You done fucked up, brah. <laughs> I thought I was taking it easy and I ain't drinking no beer. Anyway. Alright. Oh, um, shit. So, what do you think about Halloween, you know? Let's uh, talk about and Halloween. It fucking sucked. It fucking sucked. I watched, I watched a couple of movies and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah. I no, no. That's a lot of dead space, dude. Keep talking. It, 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 it was what it was supposed to be. It's supposed to be a horror movie. <laughs> pretty much what it was. Eh, yeah, it could be. Today was pretty fun for me. I don't know. I had a good day. I enjoyed my day. I love my Halloween. I didn't watch anything, though. I didn't really watch any TV. I just kind of wandered around, played video games, drank, ate some food, and I had a good day, honestly. I chilled. I enjoyed it. I was working. No, I went to bed. And there it was. But. No, I just like I said. I just watched horror films. What's the fight again? Yeah. And I was like, whoa, got that. There you go. There you go. Seems legit. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. 
just to chill out. It sucks that he didn't plan to get more beer and you just damn ran out, but nah, that happens. That happens sometimes. <laughs> it is what it is. Well, I'm not work, buddy. Yeah, you don't have to work, so that's a bonus. I'm talking to you, chilling with you. Yep, it's pretty good. Ugh, just had to edit some pauses. Like, uh, Maddie and me, then, like, early in the podcast, Maddie and me fucking sat down, and uh, we finally got to do this damn drink test I've been wanting to do for the last couple weeks here. I'm adjusting my feather. But, um, like, we did this drink test where I made this cocktail, and I didn't let her know what it was, but I got her interpretation of it. And if you listen to the podcast, you all will know or already know what we thought of it. But for you, Gino, like, I took this thing, this, um, this rum made by Bacardi called Bacardi Limon, which is a, a lemonish kind of damn rum. It's pretty tasty. I like it. But it's a lemon, damn infused kind of rum. And then you, you put them a shot or so of that in your glass over ice. And then you top it with Bark's root beer. Yeah, Bark's root beer. Crazy. So you top it with Bark's root beer. And then, like, I let her taste it and then sit there. What? You found what? This is my this is my best friend. What the fuck is this say? To the best friend ever. Kenny. Man, this is like some fucking good right here. Hey, I got this, eh? I don't know, Gene. You're kind of fading. You got moved to somewhere else. You're kind of damn getting quiet. I can barely hear you. No, my friends, uh, they give me some liquor. And I'm thinking to put this shit in some ginger ale. Fair. Well, don't get too crazy because, like, um, it's like we're trying to wrap this up before too long. And. No, this is damn mooch in the back here. <laughs> it's going to get crazy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I've got moonshine upstairs. I don't need to drink that. I'm good. Hey, what's up, my girlfriend? Man? All right, move to somewhere. Move around, Gene. Move around in the room. This is some of my damn uh, moonshine liquor. All I'm right. from my friends. Gene, move around the room somewhere. You, I'm trying to figure out. We need to put you in the damn where you're damn. You're sounding good, like. Yeah, you're, you're kind of fading in and out, bud. You're you're getting real. You're, now, now, now I gotta get me some ginger ale. Go give me some ginger ale. Oh God. Anyway. Oh shit, dude! Yeah. I found some fucking whiskey, man. Now I got my hopes up, babe. Ah, oh, Jesus, uh-huh. chilling. Here we've talked about some horror movies. See, we we'll talk about phobia. Had them. Uh, oh, dude, it was. It was. I, I, I tell you what, it was. Uh, it'll give you. You'll think you'll have all kinds of fucking phobias, but I got just watch it. Yeah. Maybe. Had them. Uh, Tim Hannah Lee, the the girl Chelsea from Pitch Perfect. The, the real quiet one's like I did the time counting. Yeah, the whisper one. She's in it, so it's like oh shit. Oh man, it's, I love it. it. it's like two yeah, out. It's like oh. it's like it's smooth Korean. Hey, that uh, this. He is a discreet dude. Uh, he had robophobia. Yep, he had fear of robots. Fair. And uh, and and he he was tripping out because he had robophobia and. I've had that. Oh, it's crazy. I thought you weren't afraid of robots. No, no, I'm freaking freaked out about fucking robots and shit and computers and shit. 
But not like he was. He was a fucking living good freak, but hey, come on, who the hell ain't as scared of a fucking robot? I mean, damn, you ever seen fucking Terminator? Yeah, that's true. Or Chopping Mall? Yep. Like the thing come when on, we got the when we got the room man, back? I mean, Terminator who in the fucking scared of a fucking robot, eh? Should I tell the, the Roomba story? Yeah, Maddie's going to tell a Roomba story, so sit back and relax. I don't know if we've ever this. talked about this on, on the podcast before. We might have, but I don't know. When we got the Roomba a while back, a couple years ago, got the Roomba, and then one day, like, the Roomba's going, and the light starts flashing red. Like, the Roomba has one eye, and the thing starts... <laughs> this red circle and I was just like okay I've seen this this is chopping mole oh, shit yes. this is chopping mole shit <laughs> but what happened was I had this little ivory Buddha uh, up in my house and it fell down and the Roomba swallowed it right and um, I opened it and there it was. It was just it was just this little Buddha that the um, that the Roomba had swallowed had it had fallen down and the Roomba swallowed it and the damn thing had the red eye glowing like something is fucking wrong and I'm going to fucking start shooting lasers at you. That didn't it's happen. Phobia. The lasers didn't happen. It was just that it had it had swallowed something. It oughtn't to, have. and um, yeah, that that's that that's that. I I fished it out, <laughs> and it was it was funny as shit. That was so funny. As Welcome shit. to Halloween, and you But seriously, I was like, okay, this is some this is some chopping mall shit. <laughs> the one eye, the one like you know, it's normally like kind of a pale blue, and it started glowing red. Like uh, I'm gonna kill you. It didn't kill me. It, it had just swallowed the Buddha. <laughs> <laughs> it swallowed the little mini Buddha. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah. As it were. And you were freaked out by that. It was funny as shit. I thought it was fucking hilarious. <laughs> I'm telling I'm telling you what, this, this ain't no shit. Everybody's got this damn thing about phobias and stuff. And another one is like dentists. God damn. Ah, uh, dentists. Yeah, let's ah, uh, dentists. Yeah, I have a hard time with dentists. But you know what? I've never watched the dentist. Like, or Dr. Giggles, because my brother would not let me. Dr. Giggles. <laughs> my brother, like, ushered me out of the room. You can't watch this. You'll have nightmares. Mm-hmm. They, well, Macy Gray's on this one, by God. They, they, they took a lot of this shit. Awesome. The, uh, they, I, I could see that they took a lot of uh, Why is they, he... Jane, Jane, stay. Jane, your phone. Honey, stay in one place where we can hear you. Your phone's now fake. They took a lot. Macy Gray. Yeah, I know Macy Gray. They, they took a lot of that shit out. I know they damn fucking done this. I was like, oh god, I'm looking at this. I'm seeing where this is coming from. But no, they took that shit out. Info because. In the movie Phobia? Yeah. Yeah. Phobia. Why are you... I know they, I know they screamed and took a lot out. Macy Gray and... Because um, they didn't even put in what I know that we, that they were saying about, you know, her about her teeth. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. She's got damn phobia uh, about them teeth. Yeah. Yeah. Well... Yeah. 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 I'll be right back. Yeah. Gene, 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 heads up. I don't know where you're moving or how you're moving around, but like your phone is fading in and out. We can barely hear you. Um, uh, my girlfriend's 
girlfriend's calling and shit like that. I ain't going to answer. And I can barely hear you. All right. All right. Can you hear me then? All right. Right there. We can hear you. Check, check. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. Can you hear me then? Check. Breaking one under ready to all right, that's that's fair. Like wherever you're putting your phone at right now, don't move around too much because when you move around, your signal gets really muted. You go, your volume goes down really bad, and we can't hear you. Okay. But yeah, I, I'm not a big fan of this new apartment. But whatever, as long as it's cool and comfortable, I don't give a shit. Oh yeah. But I don't know. It's Halloween, you know. Like. Like the leaves are gone. This is the last good weekend for money for us, and I missed it. But I don't care. I'm chilling. I'm healing. I'm doing good. I can't complain. I watched the leaves come and go. Like here in the mountains of Western North Carolina, like we had a real good yellow red fucking fall. It the mountains lit up for three weeks solid. Now they're pretty just, beautiful. Yeah, and then they went gray. Now they're all gray. <laughs> They totally fell off this week. Like, we, we sometimes get four to six weeks. This year, we got three and a half. Now it's just gone. It happens. Some years, we don't get damn three. But some years, it just sucks and doesn't look good at all. But this year was awesome and pretty. It was, like, green. Then the next week, is damn fucking gold and pretty. And then we got three good weeks of it. And I can't complain. It was good. But for our jobs, like, we made bank, and we loved it. So, like, this week was the last good week of it. Like, I was looking, I, like, drove my kids lunch to the school and, like, dropped it off. Then I drove home, and I was looking at the mountains like, oh, man, we got gray everywhere. All the leaves are falling off. It's all going gray. And there's a little bit of damn color here and there, but, like, it's all going gray. The leaves are all falling off. And it's just like, oh, man, that's all good, but... Well, here we are. We're getting, we're creeping towards winter. Old man it's winter. It's actually still quite beautiful out. Hmm. I'm on a site. I, I think it is quite beautiful here in Western North Carolina. Fair. I, I'm, I'm enjoying the, the hell out of it, and I'm just sitting on my patio looking at the mountains with the moon, with the beautiful full moon we just had. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was pretty much But the temperature's about to drop, and I'm not going to be able to do that so much. Yeah, we got two days of cold coming. Like, today, tonight, and tomorrow, we're supposed to hit 20s. And then it goes back up to the 40s and 50s as lows. But tonight, tomorrow, are the first two damn real cold drop days of the year. Mm. So, that's kind of... That sucks. But it's kind of standard for our Halloween. It's like Halloween always gets unnaturally cold during them the year. <sighs> You remember a few years ago when, when Vincent um, broke his ankle? That was on Halloween. Mm. That was, it was Halloween. He went to his cousin's house because our family is all a, a Halloween family. Mm -hmm. um, and they were sledding down the hill at his cousin's house and he ran fucking ankle first into the chicken coop yep. and smashed up his ankle. Smashed right. it right. fucking in. He was in a boot for months. I had to drive him to school because he had to be in the wheelchair until he could walk and then he could kind of hobble. <laughs> It was just awful, but that was actually Halloween when it started snowing, and it, and it does that sometimes here. Yep. It sometimes does it, and sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it gets real cold. Sometimes it isn't. Yep. It's not that it's year, really that year, it snowed, and the kids were so tickled they were like, "Let's go sledding." Down toward the chicken cape. Yeah. And he got jacked up. <laughs> and remained jacked up for months. Yep. 
my coworkers fucking pissed at me because I had to leave work early so I could pick my kid up because he couldn't ride the bus because he couldn't hobble up the stairs. Fuck you, bitches. Also, that, like, my kid fucking can't hobble. Jesus. Mm hmm. Anyway, what are we talking about? Yeah, we're just talking about general stuff. Mm. Anyway, today my nephew drove three hours to come up here and hang out with his cousins on Halloween because this is how big Halloween is in our family. That my nephew would drive three hours to come get dolled up for Halloween and find a corn maze or a haunted house or whatever they're doing. I don't know what they're doing, actually. I... But I have the one nephew who is almost a Halloween baby. I have another nephew who is a Halloween baby. But we love them all. And, um, for my kids, for their cousins, uh, it, they're totally competing with my kids. They've always done Halloween together when they were close by. Always. Those who were close by. Yeah, they traveled. They'd go to, like, um, Auburn Hills. And that was just fun. Auburn Park. Auburn Park. That was a nice little community that just always did Halloween. Yeah. Nineveh in Waynesville. Um, it, it's... Mm. You know, they've, they've... They're old now. They're older than trick-or-treating. Mm-hmm. That sucks, but... And it, it sucks, is what it but... Is. And they still dressed up, so that's kind of fun. They still, they still love this fucking goddamn shit. They love this shit. And I love it for them. And that's the way it should be. You should still be able to do things you love. Like, yeah. In whatever little form you do it. Yeah, they're not out there looting houses or toilet papering or egging or going out and getting shit faced and TPing or you know I mean they still kids and I love that I love that about my kids and my my siblings kids yep the spirit of Halloween still fucking runs pure mm -hmm. hopefully they never lose it I hope they don't Cause I'm sitting here in grease paint and fucking zombie face mask, and I'm still in good day. I'm not, but I am wearing my Mary Shelley T-shirt, so that counts. Counts for something. Counts for something. But mm. yep, yeah, I think that's about all we got. That's about it, really. We've covered um, everything on my list except for this thing called Tales of Tomorrow, which is a 1950s damn. It was a radio broadcast, but then they turned it into a TV program, mm -hmm. and it ran for two seasons, and back then, seasons were fucking like 50 episodes each, which is insane, so it was like every episode was every thing they did, a weekly, a week show. Every week, there was a new show, so for 50 weeks during the entire fucking broadcast season, they put out a new show, which is insane, like... I can't fathom, like, most shows only get, like, a season gets, like, 23 episodes, 24 episodes... Like, if you go with the damn Canadians, you only get 11 episodes for a season. And then, that's Shorzy and stuff. But you get 11 episodes. 16, 22, if you're Murdoch. But, that's it. These guys are running straight 50. And, nah, I can see why they burned out after fucking two seasons. Because that's 100 episodes in two seasons. But, Tales of Tomorrow, I've only watched the two episodes I could watch... On, I think, Tubi or whatever, and had to do commercials. But 
Yeah, the first episode was a, a cautionary World War M three nuclear fucking crazy tale. All black and white. Characters are fun, and it was just good. It's like the first episode of the season one, and then like where I'm like accessing, <gasps> it jumps to like um, season episode three, and then I watch that and it was cool, but. Shit was um, done in the 50s. Well, like, when we have Joe on here, I'll definitely talk to him about this because he might remember it. It'd be fun to see if he remembers any of it and he has any feelings about it because, like, it was definitely done during the Cold War era. And that sucks. The I, nuclear So, beast. like, a, a, another thing was that, that we watched um, Creep Show. Yeah, he said I didn't watch the first. I made Maddie watch the first episode of Creep Show season four on Shutter, episode one. I didn't make her watch the second one because it was like meh. Um, but if you haven't watched the recent Creep Show, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead and do that. And it was like personally affronting to me because it reminded me of somebody I know who's just become a bad person. Um. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, the first one. That, yeah, the first one. Definitely. Yeah. Like, you've ever had somebody in your life that just goes fucking stupid, selfish, and um, doesn't give a shit about anybody but themselves, and you have to deal with them, and mm-hmm. you have to deal with their family. Yeah, that makes sense. Selfish. I mean, I mean, that is why that character is the monster. The monster is absolutely lovable. The love the monster is is lovable. The human is absolutely a piece of garbage. Deplorable. Who Yeah, and I think a lot of us can relate to that, so go ahead. Go mm-hmm. ahead. Why is he calling you? I don't know. I was just, um, I was going to try wrapping it up. <sighs> should we take, should we try it? No, no, that was a good point though. Like Creepshow season four, episode one on Shudder. That monster. The monster was great. Uh, the woman yep. who called the monster totally was absolutely a woman that we've all known I understand yeah so I mean there's that yeah so it's totally relatable like that first episode is totally relatable second episode eh it was good it was classic damn cinema I've seen it I've seen it done a hundred times it's good I haven't seen it yet but nothing to write home about hmm. just average it's totally scriptable You've seen it. You know what's happening. You know where it ends. The third episode, though, on the other one was pretty solid. Like, I was like, all right, that's good. So, episode two, the first damn one, that's just a classic, fun creep show. Hmm. But I haven't seen the second episode of part two, episode two, so. But so far, damn, like, Greg Nicotaro is fucking hell shit. Like, it, he's damn staying legit. I'm enjoying the shit out of them, the creep show on Shutter. Y'all, get the damn... Shutter Creep Show, fucking. I don't know, maybe buy it, maybe not. But I it's great stuff. My phone. Should I answer? No, because your phone doesn't work right, right? But yeah, y'all check out the Shutter. Check out the damn Creep Show on Shutter. Shit's baller. Like the first three seasons, hits and misses, but mostly fucking solid, fucking hundred percent hits. Like gold, love them. And. Yeah, if you want the Halloween, there's Halloween in there. You want damn horror, there's a lot of good horror in there. There's something scary in there. There's werewolves in there. Fucking scared me. I didn't like it. Like scared werewolves. Yep, not a fan. Not a fan at all. Fuck them. Silver bullets for fucking days. Um, the other thing Mike and I have been watching. Hmm? We watched the first episode of uh, Live for the Dead. Yeah, Live for the Dead. Let's put it out there. Fun. It, it's fun. I, that was fun, but 
they didn't really accomplish anything. <laughs> yeah. And that kind of show is never really ever going to really accomplish anything. Hmm. Yeah. If it's something about paranormal uh, investigators, it's never going to accomplish anything. That, a, that won't happen. No, it's that not, won't happen. But it was it was it was good, cathartic to watch and to to hear people's, you know, stop people's um, experiences being queer. That was that was mostly it. Yep. Um, what they experienced in the Clown Motel in Reno <coughs> or in somewhere in Nevada. Nevada, yeah. Um, that, that's, that's a rough... That's a rough thing to have to go through and I, I feel for them. But... The other thing about it is that, what was the other thing? Yeah, they did, really didn't accomplish much, but they did damn bond together, and it damn, definitely shows you like mm-hmm. a lot of them, yeah, the paranormal them tools they, they used. The, I don't think the they, motel. they didn't exercise nothing, but they all did damn experience it. Really didn't, really didn't. They, exercise that at they didn't all. do anything with that no but they definitely did all kind of bond together better so that's mm-hmm. kind of fun and you got them a layout of where they're going as a team because like you get to meet everybody and mm-hmm. you get to learn that that one guy's fucking afraid of clowns and that's a thing yeah. a lot of people are fucking terrified of clowns thanks terrifier you're welcome for your damn prerequisite existence which is also like yeah I think he's a little older than terrifier Oh, a lot older. Terrified. That, yeah, that but, damn clown but, fears. Yeah, but yeah, a lot like older. clown fears are a thing. But if you. But they 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 did it. They did a good job, and I and I think. Yeah. I mean, as much as you can testify to the legitimacy of. Um, what's it called? Sidegeist. Taco time. Like, Balloon. just stop making words. You asked just, me, and you fucking throw out there, and I got no answer for uh, The legitimacy of, uh, of, of, you know, like, uh, psychic shit into, um, ghosts. Hmm. There's a word for that. Y'all know it. Psychic shit and the ghost. There is a word for that term. There, there is a word for that, but I'm not going to do it because right now that just actually made me angry. Um, look. Uh, they try to do this shit. They try to do it. There's a team out there. There's a damn. There's a Scooby team out there trying to damn deal with ghosts. There is a totally queer Scooby team, and I'm I'm down for that. I'm down I'm, to see I'm what they're doing. Hell yeah. Down for that, absolutely. I'm glad I found this thing. Live for the dead. It's good. So far, we've only watched the first episode. I've seen the previews for the second episode, and I'm down. I'm still down. And you know what? It looks fun. It's fair. It's like it's a ghost hunting team. And that's always going to be fucking 50-50 nothing. Mostly nothing. But it's just fun. It's mostly going to be nothing because television. Television. Yeah. And ghosts are going to damn... As soon as they see recording, they're going to fucking flee the shit out of there. They're taking a weekend off. They're going to go Seriously? sit on the beach. They ain't going to damn hang around in the system. They ain't going to haunt nothing. They're just going to not be there. And that's how ghosts run, I'm pretty sure. Even the most maleficent fucking evil fucking ghost is not going to be like, I don't need to be recorded here. Fuck you. You might actually know how to fucking take me out. See ya. I'm going to go fucking hang out on the beach all day. Or wherever the yeah, island. Seriously. Or, if it, if, it's, if it's a fucking maleficent ghost. If it's a... Uh, 
Mm-hmm. Maladjusted ghost. <laughs> so if it is a fucking mm-hmm. angry ghost, they're not. They ain't. They ain't gonna fuck around with regular people. No. And we know this. I mean, I think we know this. Yeah, it's like one of those things like the 13 ghosts. You either trap them and take them out mm-hmm. and exercise them if it's supernatural. But there's a lot of I work there. I never watched 13 Ghosts, so... Oh, 13 Ghosts is fantastic. Like, okay. maybe we'll watch that tomorrow. Like on um, All Souls Day. It's tomorrow All Souls Day? Yeah. On All Souls Day, maybe we'll watch them 13 Ghosts. It's great. We'll talk about the next podcast about 13 Ghosts. I loved it. It creeped me out in the 90s. It's one of those rare hits. If you see in theaters, it's like, what the shit? Why is this been... What? And then it's just like, I'm happy I watch this. And it's good. Because the entire time, we're like, wait, what? 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 How? How does that work? Okay. Why would you even know that? And what's the point? And these are all questions run through your heads when you're watching 13 Ghosts, but it's good. Y'all check that out for Halloween. 13 Ghosts. 90s. Glass fucking traps and shit. But whatever. But yeah, Living for the Dead, I'm watching it. We've still got to finish watching the damn TV show we started watching the last week called Make Me Scream. We still got two episodes of that left. Uh-oh. What's this? Oh, hell yeah. Uh, let me damn text Big Joe back. All's groovy. He's um, relaxing in them tennis sizzle with his damn gal. A little r and r Can't complain about that. And yeah, maybe Friday we'll have Joe on. Or Saturday. He's going to be, he's, he's relaxing intensely till Friday. Shit. So I'm going to damn text him healing. Paul's groovy. I'll talk to you next week. Cheers. But Big Joe's all good. He's hanging out with his gal. They're you know, having a good time in tennis sizzle. And hey, there we go. I'm healing from my damn, damn weird ass damn hernia. It stings a bit. It's weird. It's like it's not like the damn hernia I had before, but this hernia is kind of strange because it's like a belly button hernia, and that belly button area is just getting weirder and weirder. People, scars upon scars. But yeah, it stings. It's stingy. But that's enough of that. Next week we'll have Joe on the episode. Gino is Gino. He's running out of booze and cigarettes. And he's now drinking hard liquor. Because uh, Gino has friends in moonshine places that gave him hard liquor. He's on that. And Joe just said, happy spooky night. So, y'all have a happy spooky night. And that's pretty much all I gotta say about this podcast. Because, like, it's fucking Halloween. Like, me and Matt are gonna watch a horror movie. We're gonna watch something fun. Maybe watch a TV show. We're going to look at them, our Instas, our Facebookies, and shit, maybe have another drink. It's that damn night. It's the coldest night of the year so far because, like, tonight and tomorrow we're hitting lows for two days. It's going to suck because we ain't got no heating oil. We'll get there eventually, but it's blanket time for us Indians, and that's the way it runs. Like, you ain't got no heating oil. Ain't got no fire. You damn blank it up. And that's where we're going for the next two days, people. Here at the damn Chainsaw Bar, it's damn blanket time. But we got booze, we got food, we got good family. We're living well. No complaints. And that's a wall play. That's mother. Right. And let's wrap this Beagle up. Beagle? Beagle? Bagel? Bagel, Beagle. Let's wrap this bagel beagle up, because it's everything. 
all at once, all at the same time. Here we go. But that's that. This has been our podcast. Me and Maddie have had Bacardi Limon and Barks Root Beer. And surprisingly, it does taste like bubblegum or Easter candy. And that's kind of shocking. Because I, I kind of didn't believe it would taste like Bark Nam Bazooka Joe, but 100% nailed Bazooka Joe and it freaked me out. But, yeah, there was our damn drink test. Aww. Mabel, dude. Look at baby color. <laughs> nice phone, oh, kid. He's a damn dinosaur. I love it. All right. I love baby. I love your baby costumes. Mm-hmm. Show me baby costumes. All right, Maddie's on her phone. But that's it for this show. We love you. Burps. But it's spooky season. It's wrapping up tonight. We got two days left of spooky season because I'm going to run All Saints and All Souls Day in spooky season. So y'all be religious-ish. Or don't be. But either way, like I'm going to say All Saints Day and All Souls Day and all that Catholic stuff runs into spooky season. It wraps out spooky season. Like how you damn respect your dead, your family, your past ancestors, that's on you. But for me, I'm going to chill out. I'm going to make a loaf of bread. I'll definitely then relax, reflect. I'm doing some porch time. You going to make bread? I might make a loaf of something. I might make a damn pretzel. I don't know. Something small. But whatever. Something damn related to like family. Like our my dead family. But it is what it is. And that's pretty much the season. Respect your damn ancestors. Enjoy your current situation. And damn, it's damn fucking horror movie time. Watch the movies. You got damn two days left. Fucking damn do it. Fuck. If you're playing Fortnite, damn, buy that Michael Myers damn skin. Fucking damn, go chase people with damn fucking the slasher thing and slash and slash and slash. But, otherwise, watch FNAF. Apparently the boys love fucking FNAF. They went and seen it damn two days ago at damn the cinemas here in Silva. And they liked it. It's been damn fucking 15 years in the coming. Fucking fried Five Nights at Freddy's. And it was already done by Willie's Wonderland. Real. For real. There's Chrissy Hine trying to help Joan Jett take off her leather pants. That is some real shit, sisterhood, right there. What a struggle. That is a struggle. Trying to take her, trying to take off her leather pants? Oof. Yeah. All right. So there you go. Maddie's just looking at a picture shared with me, black and white, of uh, Joan Jett trying to take Chrissy Hyde's pants removal, vice versa. Nope. Flip. Vice versa. Yep. And it's out there on the internet. And it's that's out some sisterhood. There. That's some sisterhood. Out there. there. There's some sisterhood where Chrissy is trying to help Joan take off her leather pants. If you ever tried to take off leather pants, sisters, you know that shit isn't easy <laughs> to remove. Like, I love leather pants. Um, yeah, it's a nightmare to pull those things off. It's just like vacuum sealing. Mm-hmm. Because that's, that's actually the fact. But that's all we got for this episode. Y'all, happy mm-hmm. spooky season. Happy Halloween. Happy All All Hallows Eve. And blesses Salen to my pagan friends. Awesome. And that's all we got for this episode. So, um, on three, uh, chainsaw. Mm. One, two. <laughs> that's a cute dinosaur picture. Aww. Uh, my my friend's kids being Wonder Woman and, and some sort of a dinosaur. <laughs> I don't care. Uh, Y'all, awesome. like your kids' pictures of Halloween give me... All the feels. I love it. Send it to us. Mm-hmm. We we adore that shit. I, I love this shit. 
Look, look at these kids. How fucking cute is that? Ah, little kiddos as dinosaurs and superheroes. It's adorable. <laughs> but that's all we got for this episode. Happy Halloween, y'all. Cheers and much love. Y'all love social it. distance. Because people still spit when they talk. And really... Yeah, yeah. and we've been, we've been bad sick with all the colds. Oh, man. Already. Shit. But, yeah. It doesn't hold us back. Um, Y'all have a good damn spooky season. You got two more nights of it. Y'all be good. Or mean. Or scary. Or whatever the hell. Don't be mean. Just be scary. Be spooky. But that's all we got for this podcast. Worldwide? Eh, I don't know. I don't know what you guys do worldwide for this damn season. But like for us here in the Americas, in the western North Carolinas, we dress up. We get spooky. We light up a damn candle or two. We reflect on damn scary stories we've heard. Those old gods of Appalachia. If you ever check that podcast out. Old gods of Appalachia. They're pretty fucking scary. Check those guys out. Oh, that's, that's a great podcast. So, that's my plug for old gods of Appalachia. They're local. They're out of Asheville. Ash You're Vegas. not paid to say this. We're not paid. We just like their podcast. <laughs> and it's spooky as shit. And it's local for us. So it's like, oh, I can see that. Ah, oh, fuck you. I don't need to hear that. No, oh, I don't need to think about that. Fuck off, old gods of Appalachia. Scaring me a little bit. Mm-hmm. But stories are relatable. Like, you may live in a damn mountain area. And there's that old scary legend of that scary person. And that's spooky. But for us here at the podcast at the Chainsaw Bar, I'm going to have myself a whiskey. I'm going to watch a TV show or a horror movie and round out the rest of the night. It's 8.54 on a cold October night on October 31st, 19, 19, 19, 19, 20, 20. 23. Scary. Ooh. I'm just sitting there thinking about them, the Hellbound Howard. About how years work? And... Mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't remember how decades work in time. It's frustrating. But our book stack was a book stack. There's some damn uh, grease paint there. Because uh, we had to dress up the kids with them grease paint stuff. I put my Sandman, my The Crow by Jay 